guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. I haven't done a, just a generic discussion and rant in a while where it's more of a, just kind of me talking about something that kind of is about me but not, it's not, this isn't really an about me video but it, I was thinking, like, I was actually singing along to music like a lot of the time I do when I'm not recording or uh, <clears throat> taking care of the trim edits for videos like uh, Chrono Trigger or, um, <clears throat> let's see, what are other ones that I did? Zelda, for example. But I'm not doing the trim edits and I'm just, like, uh, waiting for the scheduled upload to finish its thing. I'll usually start listening to music, and while doing that, it was actually yesterday, not today, but while doing that, I actually started randomly thinking of the factor that there are a lot of people out there who try to sing, like, really high tone. Like, that's not my highest. That's just kind of giving the point across. And they'll, like, stumble. Or same thing for women in low tones sometimes. Made me, like, think through my, like, how this approach is, and how this approach can be handled. Realistically, I've met people who are, like, tone deaf, so they have exceptions. People like that have exceptions. They can't really handle it. But for those who aren't, it made me wonder, like, how much build it actually takes to be able to hit those points. For example, the song Take On Me by AHA. Um, that song at this point is memes to death, but the reason I'm using it as an example is because on the lines... For those who know the song, I already know what, uh, the uh, idea of what I'm about to say, but there's a line that, at, at the end of their chorus that goes, I'll be there in a day or two. When he sings to, that high note is that of only those select few men can do. Same with, like, certain low notes in women. Um... <clears throat> And with that factor, it, it's kind of, I know, like, for men, the, pe the men who are usually able to do that are actually the people who uh, sing a tone called bass, which those people are usually the ones who have to bounce from one note to a completely different note on the opposite side of the spectrum, or, like, they have to bounce from one octave to another octave, pretty much like that, and they have to learn how to do that without losing, like, the right note um, because you can go flat or sharp sometimes if you're not trained enough in the mind to do that um, <clears throat> but what about women for women I don't, I'm not positive I think that's what altos are taught to do um, so bear in mind for those who don't know uh, how what I'm, the terms I'm referring to are like different sections of like different singing um, voices for women, for example, their highest um, official group, I believe, is soprano one. For them, it goes soprano one, then soprano two, then alto one, then alto two, and sometimes there's a third of one of those two, but those are like the main four. For men, um, <clears throat> it's baritone one, two, um, there's always one I forget. There's baritones 1, 2, and bass 1 and 2 at times. 2 is rare on bass, though. Um, there's a fourth one. There's an official fourth one. I just forgot the name of it. There's four of each category, basically. And the lowest one for the uh, men has a tendency to teach the men how to bounce from one octave to the other, making it cap them capable of going higher octaves than most people. I th if I were to guess, I'm not sure because I haven't asked anyone who's actually been through a choir class or been taught. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. But for women, I think altos are the ones who are taught to go, to do the same thing except in the opposite direction. Um, <clears throat> the main reason is because um, in music, a lot of the time, the two note. To, the two categories of people who have a tendency to bounce all over the place are altos and basses. And I find it intriguing to think about. That's uh, This is something that just kind of randomly came to my mind while I was actually... The reason I used 
take on me as an example because that's the song I was actually singing along to. It randomly came to my mind. I'm like, you know what? I need to talk about this. Eh, I'll do it tomorrow because I already made a video today. That was after I scheduled for upload yesterday's vlog. And here I am ranting about a random topic. It's not really even a rant. It's, I guess this is more of the discussion factor of it. Um, but I don't know. I find it very interesting how people, like the lower noted individuals have a tendency to have the capability to hit almost every single note in the freaking scale. Whereas those who have higher have limits. Like sure, like baritones, for example, for men, they can hit higher notes more frequently than basses can at first. But the interesting thing is, I mean, I was a bass. I hit higher notes than my uh, almost every member of any choir I've been in. Um, like most of the people who are baritones when I was um, in the choirs I've been in, all almost none of them could hit the highest note in the song Take On Me, whereas I still can. Once again, I'm not going to sing it, but copyright reasons. Just take my word for it. Um, <clears throat> however, on the soprano, so women may have an exception to this. I mean, realistically, in my opinion, women have way better singing voices anyway in that. So... <laughs> I mean, there are some exceptions to that claim, but it's not common. But I digress. Um, I, I think there's something just... When it comes to hitting, like, the lower notes, it's... There are some women who are able to do that. It's far and in between, like, what I was talking about, men and higher notes. Um, but it is impressive when it can happen and it's done well. <sighs> I think it's like the same concept, just like the reverse order. I'm not gonna too, I'm not gonna ramble about this for too much longer, just because it was a thought on my mind and I wanted to talk about. It. Just why not? But I digress. Thanks for tuning in this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you like these kind of discussion rant type things. And most of the time it's psychological, but this is something that I that kind of intrigued me, so I was like, you know what? Why not? Um, but if you do want to check out any other discussion or rant videos, just to see kind of the different variety of what's discussed on here, click the link on this side of my head and you'll be able to check out over 300 of them by now. Um, <clears throat> if you want, if, if it's, this isn't quite floating your boat, but you stuck to the end, first of all, thank you. But second of all, why not check the link on this side where you may be able to find something that might suit you a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in the video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. Wait, wait, okay, yeah. That's making sure I set up for this. All right, catch you guys later.